Hello, and welcome back to Rap Cinema. Today we will be looking at the alien invasion of New York City, and a young man in love who traverses across the overrun city, involving only the monsters out of your nightmares, to save his trapped girlfriend. Unfortunately, it isn't illustrated very well as the movie's budget totaled $2.57 and a McDonald's cheeseburger. With the entire movie being filmed from POV perspective of a camera. I wouldn't trust this guy to record any school fights. Bro, yo, they about to fight, they about to fight, they about to fight. The entire movie is just camera shaking, leaving you pissed off because you can't see what's going on. Without further ado, sit back, relax and grab your iPod touch. The movie opens showing Robert recording Manhattan on his 0.5 megapixel Samsung camera. He is staying in his dad's place with his friend Beth, but fails to mention that his dad is Jeff Bezos. He can afford to buy a $300 million penthouse overlooking Central Park, but can't afford the new iPhone. We continue to see more old camera footage where Hudson is introduced, otherwise known as Deadpool's nerdy friend, and a few others that no one really cares about because the character development is ass. Robert's friends are throwing a go-away party for him as he is moving to Japan for a new job. The camera is a big part of recording their memories together and the great times they had. Hudson is going around the party collecting messages from friends until he comes to Marlena who doesn't seem too interested to contribute to the video and soon leaves Hudson hanging. Robert arrives to the party and is shocked to see what his friends have prepared for them. His lover arrives with a boy making him jealous. He takes her to the side to talk to her where his friend tries to follow and record, having zero respect for their privacy. His friend then continues to tell the whole party that they both did the dirty tango, betraying the trust of the secret completely. What a dick. After arguing Beth leaves with her new boy, going back to her apartment. They all gather outside to have a little heart to heart and start talking about their relationship problems. While they are talking, they are suddenly cut off by an earthquake and the city lights going out. The gang rush inside panicked by what's going on to listen to the news. The entire party rush to the rooftop to aid their curiosity. Only to be met by a ball of fire and explosions, causing everyone to run to the streets in a panic. The next minute the Statue of Liberty's head is thrown across the street, decapitated and destroyed. Good news is whether it's 2008 or 2023 people are still using their phones just as much. The ground starts to shake and a giant creature appears in the distance destroying a building, causing an avalanche of ash to flood the streets. Robert and his friends take cover in a side store, before being entirely engulfed in ash. They step outside of the shop, looking like New York in 2023 after the fires. Military forces begin evacuating the city while chaos ensues. Meanwhile Hudson continues to record while you would think recording would be the last thing on your mind in an alien invasion. Anything for 27 likes on TikTok I suppose. Unfortunately while crossing the bridge the wires snap, collapsing the bridge. Our friends avoid the accident and make it out alive. Hudson still documenting after nearing being killed repeats to his friends that they need to leave. No shit Sherlock. Robert doesn't care what genius Hudson has to say and runs to the nearest tech store. On the televisions more footage is displayed showing the military fighting the giant aliens. The military are losing and we can see many aliens dropping and attacking the soldiers. Preceded by a demonstration of exactly what I would do. Turn and run. Robert receives a voicemail from Beth who is injured and trapped inside her apartment. Robert decides to be Mr. Hero instead of saving himself and devises a plan to go and rescue Beth. Hudson tries to stop him and to get him to think logically but it's clear Beth must have been really good in Beth and is definitely worth the rescue. Robert is now walking towards the direction of Beth's apartment, which also happens to be in the same direction as yeah you guessed it. They are all stuck right in the middle of the chaos as the army continues to fight back the aliens, however not gaining much progress. They all decide to make a run for it to the subway station, nearly getting crushed by the giant wailing alien. I still don't know how all of this is managed to be recorded. They end up trapped in the underground with no way of getting around the city. They continue to wait hearing intermittent bangs from the hell above. After reading the underground map robbery gets the idea to follow the tracks that exit right underneath Beth's apartment. So in the pitch black they walk along the tracks, using the light from the camera to see where they're going. They begin to hear strange scary noises and see a colony of rats running in the opposite direction. This gives them a bad feeling that something dangerous may be coming from the direction they're going. Now panicking the gang start running heading to get out at the next train station. Crawling and strange noises can be heard so Robert tries to turn on the night vision on the camera. The light turns on revealing three aliens crawling the walls behind them, and instead of being quiet and moving calmly, Hudson screams and tells everyone to run. Not like the noises may have indicated to run in the first place. The girls get RKO'd from out of nowhere while Hudson still continues to record his friends getting absolutely mauled by space aliens. 
until karma strikes and he gets jumped himself, still holding onto the camera, of course. Robert manages to fight the aliens off with the help of the girls and they all escape through a door, shutting it behind the aliens. Hudson with all his priorities in order cleans the blood off the camera lens first before checking to see if his friends are okay. As it turns out, Marlena was very badly bitten, leaving a bleeding mark on her back, while Robert gets some supplies. What is really strange is how no one is questioning what attacked them, as if they see aliens on the regular. Robert and Hudson discuss about going to the surface to see where they are, as the underground is clearly not the best method of travel. They reach the top and find themselves in a clothing store where they are confronted by a squad of soldiers. The soldiers escort them out. They walk through a hospital tent where injured soldiers can be seen. Robert asks for help and explains his life story but in short the soldiers don't seem to care. Out of all of a sudden Marlena's eyes and nose begin to bleed before she is taken by frightened doctors. The bite causes her to get sick and eventually explodes, killing her. Before they can do anything they are dragged out and taken by a soldier to the exit. He tells them to find Beth and to make it back before 6 a.m. as the government are bombing the city. Hudson, again, still recording like his life depends on it, takes a few moments to grieve the girl he liked, before carrying on and forgetting about her. They all make their way out, observing the twin towers in the distance, where Robert's girlfriend is trapped. They climb the stairs of the neighboring building to get across to the leaning skyscraper. When they get to the rooftop they climb across the two buildings while Hudson is still recording. Robert finds Beth in her destroyed apartment impaled by rebar. Beth wakes up thinking she is dead and daydreaming. Hudson finally for the first time in the movie puts down the camera so that they can all lift Beth and free her. They are interrupted by the alien in the distance and this gives them a hint to get a move on. An alien jump scares them that was hiding in the stairwell but Robert being the hero he is, kills the alien with an axe. They all make it to the bottom and run to the helicopters to be evacuated. Upon boarding the helicopter they all relax as they think they are now safe observing the army fighting back the aliens. The alien gets hit and they all celebrate thinking they have won, before Hudson gets pranked and the alien smacks the helicopter out of the sky. So all while they are falling to the ground towards their impending deaths, Hudson keeps the camera straight, still recording for good measures. The helicopter crashes and they all wake up somehow not dead, with Robert being the only injured one from the crash. They are now all stuck in Manhattan, minutes away from the city being destroyed. Before they have time to be blown to pieces, Hudson looks up at a giant alien towering over him. And instead of running he stands still and records the alien. It then eats him. Nice one Hudson. Essentially, Robert got all his friends killed saving a girl that was dirty dancing with another man. Robert and Beth take shelter under a bridge, aware of their fate in the coming minutes, with bombs going off in the background. They make a final goodbye tape which proves to be quite useless, as the movie ends with the bombs killing both, and the camera being presumably destroyed. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to turn on notifications to get the best rap cinema updates.